Grazie a all of I've got some great news for you. The Mega 65 dev kits are shipping now. My dev kit has already arrived and I thought why wouldn't we do a little unboxing video. I have never done an unboxing video and I'm totally unprepared so I guess I'll be stuttering around a lot of random stuff. Package is waiting right here. Let's go. As you can see we're on the kitchen counter because my working room is kind of messed up because of home office stuff and everything. Since the Mega 65 is a home computer it just fits nicely to open it on the kitchen counter I guess. So I'm gonna open it with a kitchen knife I guess because why not. I know what I'm doing. I've been opening boxes with inappropriate tools since I was born. Usually I'm not really a fan of unboxing because most of them are actually kind of unnecessary I think. But since this is something that you can't uh, buy at the moment and only really a few people got to order one I guess some people want to see it. In fact some people told me they want to see an unboxing so we'll just have a look I guess. So yeah. Packaging. This is the keyboard. I really waited for this because I, I've been working with the Nexus board until now with a like 15 euro USB key keyboard and um, I really expect this to be a lot better. Nice mechanical keys. I love the feeling of that. You have the little mega button. Because the Commodore logos logo couldn't be used on this. So, so it's I, I think it's a stylized M. I, if you put it on the side it's Obvious that uh, that it kind of looks lo looks like the old Commodore logo, at least the right part of the logo without the C. But yeah, this this is the keyboard. <clears throat> Just packing everything away nicely here, so that it won't be damaged. Yeah, mock packaging and packaging. <laughs> yeah. The twelve hundred mini USB cable. That's a long it's a long one, two meters. Okay. <clears throat> More packaging. <clears throat> I'll just open the packages in, in random order to see what it is. Oh, I guess this is the power adapter. Okay, no, nothing so special about that, but. Nice little wall ward, but with several adapters. I guess that's UK, US, and European. Uh, I have actually no idea what that is. Maybe Australia, maybe Paul 
looked into that, that, <laughs> that there's an Australian adapter with it. I don't know. I just need the European one. So, oh, cables. Floppy cable, keyboard cable, and I guess that's for a power switch or something. More unknown boxes. A floppy drive, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got a sealed floppy drive in ages. <laughs> the last time I, I bought a floppy drive in a store was probably over 20 years ago. Yeah, I, I bought a USB floppy drive for my first iMac. So that was probably probably the last one. <coughs> so Mega 65 development kit. I guess this should be the main board. Oh, it's just more packaging. Okay. Oh. <coughs> it's it's a good thing that the, that it's packaged so tightly so nothing gets damaged on transport and it is the main board I'm not gonna take it out of the anti-static bag here because I don't wanna damage it for this video I'll unpack it later and assemble the dev kit. Uh, but there's already, already uh, an assembly video from Anton. Uh, I don't think I'll, I'll make an assembly video because it's basically the same video that Anton already posted. So I guess I'll assemble it for myself and post it, post a new video when it's up and running. Oh, maybe when I started up the first time. And the last box inside the box should be the acrylic case by Plexi Laser. That's basically the big difference between the dev kit and the final machines. really careful with this. There's protective sheets on each side but I'm I'm always afraid of scratching this stuff. So I'll, I'll be really careful. Put this aside. Well, this is the bottom of the case actually with a little trapdoor to change the SD card. This, this is the top part. This is vent for the keyboard to be nicely accessible. So they packaged it with some wood stuff. <clears throat> Should have made a wood grain case for the Mega 65. That would be cool. But then that would be more like 70s style. More packaging. Yeah, and some screws. The SD card. I guess I'll just uh, assemble every everything and make a new video when it's running. Some people 
asked me what serial number I'm getting and the truth is uh, no one really knows what he's getting. Uh, I don't think it's really important which serial number you have, but I guess if you have like number 65 or, or something like that, that would be nice. <laughs> Funny little thing. Or even 64 for that matter. But other than that, I I think it's, it's really important what serial number you have. It's the inside that counts. But for this video, of course, I'll, I'll be opening this package because I guess the plate with the serial number will be inside this. So now, now I'm really careful with my kitchen knife so I don't scratch the case. I, I don't know why I never use appropriate tools for something like this. Just and there it is. Nope. Oh. I guess they left the last digit at zero for everything because I've got the serial number two hundred and twenty, <laughs> which is kind of odd because only one hundred were produced, but. Yeah, I, I guess uh, since Anton had the serial number 00001, I guess the last digit is f only for pre-production. And yeah, maybe the first dev kits that were sent out today started at 10, which would mean that this is the number 22. Depending on how you look at it. Oh yeah. Well, yet let's let's call it two hundred and twenty because that's what it says, right? Yeah, I'm going to assemble it and make a new video starting it up. <laughs>